Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Pilot's Bill of Rights 2 has cleared the Senate and is headed for the House. X-Core achieves an engine technology breakthrough. Upgrade for the Lance Air is announced. I'm Brie Cross, it's December 17th, 2015, and this is Airborne Unlimited. Here's the news we've been waiting for. The full United States Senate passed the Pilot's Bill of Rights 2 on a unanimous vote Tuesday night. The bill, sponsored by Senator James Inhofe, had 70 co-sponsors from both sides of the aisle. Senator Inhofe said in part, quote, This is a big victory for general aviation pilots all across the country. This legislation reforms the medical certification process for general aviation pilots in a way that will increase pilots' knowledge of risk while demanding treatment of identified conditions. This bill also increases due process protections for pilots, ensuring the FAA treats them in a fair and equitable manner." End quote. A companion bill must pass the U.S. House and be signed by President Obama before the Pilots' Bill of Rights II can become law. Contained within the bill is a requirement that the FAA revise the appropriate regulations to comply with the law. We at a and congratulate everyone who has worked so hard to move the Pilots' Bill of Rights II through the legislative process in the Senate. All indications are the bill will be passed out of the House with little difficulty. Ex-Corps Director of Engineering and Acting CTO Michael Vallant announced recently that his team had reached an important milestone in the development of the reusable SK-18 Lynx main propulsion rocket engine. Vallant said his engineers were able to close the loop of the thermodynamic system under test conditions, a key technology for the Lynx suborbital vehicle. This technology includes a novel method to drive essential engine parts using waste heat from the rocket engine, thus eliminating the need for adding large, heavy compressed gas tanks to the vehicle. This propulsion system is an essential part of the Lynx instant reusability because it allows the vehicle to be flown multiple times per day without costly servicing of components. Valance said, quote, there's still some work to do to improve the cycle efficiency before this engine that is in its basic open cycle form has already had hundreds of successful test firings is ready for flight. But this is a massive step forward for us in the development of this truly groundbreaking technology, end quote. After the break, Lance Air 4 upgrade is available. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. The KSN 770 is an affordable, WAS-enabled, integrated MFD with a flexible hybrid user interface from Bendix King. Get your fingers on the 770's perfect blend of touchscreen and hard buttons. Easily control your GPS navigation, navcom, weather, traffic, and terrain in any condition. For more information, go to BendixKing.com. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. AML's patent-pending wireless induction charging system eliminates confusion over those charging cables, cuts down cockpit cable clutter, and allows you and your passengers to fly cordless and eliminate the cable nightmare. www.aviationmodificationleaders.com Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, our website or podcast, just email to news-spy at aero-news.net. If you ask the question, can a Lance Air be made better? RDD Enterprises says yes. They have recently announced a major upgrade for the Lance Air 4 and 4P airframes. The conversion has been dubbed the LX-7. It replaces the original wings, aft fuselage, and tail with new components utilizing lighter and stronger materials, as well as modern airfoils with improved slow flight and stall characteristics. Each LX-7 will be provisioned with all new electrical systems and components and include an aircraft parachute and a three-screen integrated flight deck. There have also been upgrades to the interior of the aircraft. Eric Schmindlin, RDD project manager, said in part, quote, We have cleared many of the design hurdles utilizing the latest in computer-aided design software. Our goal is to provide an outstanding passenger comfort level with engaging flight response for the pilot, end quote. 
Tooling has been produced for some of the parts, and final assembly of the first aircraft is expected in spring of 2016. It's Thursday, which means that it's time for an Aero Community Update. However, today our report is not about a member of the Aero Community, it's about the Aero Community itself and how our Airborne Partnership Initiative fits into the picture. The Airborne Partnership Initiative, we call it the API, is a plan developed by ANN CEO and Editor-in-Chief Jim Campbell to build a synergistic, industry-wide aviation aerospace news program. Our aim is to grow this program to include a significant portion, if not a majority, of the aviation world's pivotal organizations, interests, and viewpoints. I believe we can say we have aimed in the right direction in 2015, and as we move into the next year, we'll be expanding on what we've achieved so far. Our hard work and planning has paid off with the new products introduction programs we produce for the Aircraft Electronics Association and the smashing success of our AirVenture Innovations Preview broadcast from Oshkosh this year. These successes have proved we're on the right course, and you can look for more of the same at Sun & Fun in 2016. Airborne and its parent companies will embark on a number of aggressive new programs in the months ahead. There will be a distinct expansion of our special event programming and partnership efforts in association with a number of our valued syndication partners. Such efforts include live programming, special Aero TV feature webcasts, as well as expanded coverage on Aero News and within our PropWash daily newsletters and other products. We're also excited about a project we call Aero Hangouts, which are live special purpose programs with multiple guests and the ability for outside parties with webcams to contribute and be seen and heard as part of the programming. The API got off to a flying start in 2015 and we are kicking in the supercharger for 2016. After these messages, the kids got a note from the captain. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. Now certified, Aspen Avionics Single Band ADS-B, ATX-100 and ATX-100G transceivers are the next-gen ADS-B solution that provides the features pilots need while keeping flyaway costs low. Check it out now at AspenAvionics.com. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude and slip with integral backup battery safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. A group of 31 young UK students who had traveled to Cyprus got delayed by weather on their return flight, causing them to miss school for a day. EasyJet Captain Wayne Mott announced over the plane's PA system that he would write excuse notes, and he did. The FAA has approved the installation of the GoGo -Go Business Aviation UCS 5000 Smart Cabin System on Gulfstream G5 and G4 aircraft. The UCS 5000 provides access to the GoGo -Go Vision library of approximately 200 movies and TV shows. NASA is looking for the best candidates to work in the best job on or off the planet. The astronaut candidate application website is now live and accepting submissions through February 18th. An Airbus C-295W aircraft belonging to the Mexican Navy, using a mixed Airbus and Mexican crew, completed a month-long tour through Latin America, demonstrating the aircraft. The tour included stops in Bolivia, Chile, Argentina, Paraguay, Panama, and Mexico. It's nearing summertime in the Antarctic, which for NASA's scientific balloon program means anti-cyclone research is about to begin. Each year, the agency's globe-trotting balloon team dons parkas for their annual flight campaign in Antarctica. Well, that's our trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. Priorities in aviation are constantly changing, and one of the latest concerns is how to mount a GoPro camera to get that perfect in-flight selfie. 
Now InFlight Cam has introduced a new GoPro clamp mount as a solution for mounting a GoPro where a suction cup won't quite work. The company says the GoPro clamp will securely attach a GoPro to any tube from one half inch to one and one half inch diameter, along with glare shields and numerous other points in the cockpit. The metal clamp mount incorporates a ball head swivel, providing all angle capabilities for any GoPro. It allows users to securely mount a GoPro in those otherwise hard to mount areas. And there you have it, you're ready for the perfect selfie. Well, that's our program for today. Remember to get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. Please join us and a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news from the staff of the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource.